So here, we are going to look at how to state the null and the alternate hypothesis. So to do that, now there are some basic things you need to know first and this is how it goes. When you have this sign, it means, this means greater than, greater than. Another way of expressing greater than is more than, more than. So another way of expressing it is increase, increase. When something has increased, it means it's greater than. And another way of expressing it is above, above five, means greater than five. Also, when you have this, this means less than less than it can also be what fewer than fewer than which can also be decrease decrease which can also be what below so when something is below it means it's less than or fewer than you get it so below five means fewer than five or less than five also when you see this this means not equal to not equal to or whenever you see the word change okay or when you see different when they say something is different it means they are not equal you see that now leaving this aside whenever you see these three signs greater than less than and not equal to you should know they are referring to the alternate hypothesis h a I get an H sub A alternate hypothesis. Another way of writing the alternate hypothesis is H sub 1, H1. You can either write it like this or like this. Also, another important thing you need to know is that the opposite of greater than is what? Less than or equal to. This less than or equal to sign, less than or equal to this less than or equal to sign is also known as at most at most at most when they say it is less than or equal to five meaning it is at most five do you get it also the opposite of less than is greater than or equal to and when something is greater than or equal to means it is what at least at least means minimum pa should be this so when i say greater than or equal to two it means at least two meaning the minimum should be two also when you see equal to as we all know this is equal to sign which can also be expressed as is is five meaning it's equal to five okay now when you see this words you should know they are going for the null hypothesis. So whenever you have a statement, depending on the type of phrase that you send, it tells whether it is H1 or HO. So let's take some practical example. Let's take this example one. KHP research team claims that the proportion of KNUST students who prefer online exams is more than 50%. More than means what? Greater than. Where is the greater than sign? This is the greater than sign. You see it's at HA. So it means that this particular question is giving you the claim as HA or H1. So to state the null and the alternate hypothesis, the null is H1 and the alternate is what? H1 or HA. Okay. Then you bring the column. Now this says proportion. It didn't say mean. So since they said proportion, you are going to use the small p. You are going to use the p. Sorry. Now, this is more than. I told you whenever you see the more than, it means it's giving you the alternate as a claim. So more than is p is more than. That's greater than. 
what 50 percent so you can write it 50 percent exactly 50 percent or you can write it 0 0.50 50 percent means 50 divided by 100 which is 0 0.50 you see that now since there are no you don't have two claims here together it's only one claim you only take the opposite of this as a now so what is the opposite of greater than sign it is less than or equal to so less than or equal to 0 0.5 let's look at the second one this is a researcher estimates that the average revenue of the largest businesses in ghana is more than is more than 120 million Ghana cities. It's more than 120 million Ghana cities. This also gives one claim, which when you look at more than, more than means what? Greater than, which I stated over here. And I said, whenever you have this sign, you should know they are giving the H1 first or the HA. But to state it, we usually write the H2 at the top, then H1 at the down or HA. You bring the column. They say mean. Average means mean. Average. Mean. Okay. So mean is represented as what? Mu. Isn't it? It's more than. More than means what? Greater than. So 120 million Ghana cities. Now, since this gives one claim, what is the opposite of more than? The opposite of more than is less than or equal to. If something is not more than 5, then it will be less than or equal to 5. You see that? So the opposite of greater than is this. So it gives what? Same. You write same amount. Then let's look at the third one. This says a researcher thinks that if expected mother mothers use vitamin pills the birth weight of babies will increase the average birth weight of the population is 8.6 pounds this particular question is giving two claims you can see the word is which goes for equal to sign and now and you can see the word increase which go for h1 which is the alternate hypothesis can you see that? That's how I'm, I'm underlining them. So, H0, then H1. This is increase. I told you whenever you see the word increase, it goes for the word alternate hypothesis. Increase means greater than. You see that? So, the mean is greater than 8.6 pounds. And here he's saying that the average birth weight of the population is, whenever I see the word is, is means equal to, which goes for what? H-O. That's why I've specified them separately over here. So, meaning the mean is 8.6 pounds. So the alternative is saying that it is greater than 8.6 and the null is saying that it is 8.6. Now let's look at the last one. For now, it says a managing director of a company states that the average hourly wage of his employees is, is 11 Ghana cities. This particular question has only one claim. Is, is. Whenever you see is, what is it giving you? It's giving you the null hypothesis, isn't it? So, you have H O H one. The average. Average means mean, isn't it? And mean, how do you write it? We write it as mu. Mu, isn't it? Then, we said is. There is no word over here like increase, above, greater than, or whatever. We only have is. What does is goes for? As I stated earlier. That is always go for equal to sign. Which is under the null hypothesis. So, the H naught, the H O, is going to be is. You see that? Ghana cities, 11. 11 Ghana cities.
Now, since you have only one claim in this particular statement, what is the opposite of equal to? The opposite of equal to is not equal to. If something is equal to this, then its opposite is not equal to it. Then, the alternative will be Ghana cities, not equal to Ghana cities 11. So here, be very careful. I use P over here because it's a proportion question. The question says a proportion. And this says mean, average. This also says what mean, and this also says mean, which is average. That's why I use mu here. So if you want to state the null and alternate hypothesis for one, one test statistic, this is how it is being stated. Thank you.